episode 62 of series 3 have become a legend story mode. So I'm pretty happy with how things are progressing actually at Chelsea. We seem to be in a rhythm, although we did have our win streak halted at 5 in the last game. With a disappointing 0-0 against Bournemouth where, well, Eggy has been injured, hasn't he actually? In fact, I'm not even sure if he's back for the Palace game today. Possibly the uh, Brighton game after the end of the transfer window might be the first game that he plays. Unfortunately, with Eggy out of the side, we did get a draw which has seen us drop back down. I think we're up as high as third at one point. But what I am pretty happy about is it does seem that we've clicked to a point now where games like Palace at home, we should be winning. You know, at PSV, at Wasden Bever and all of those other teams, it just felt a little bit luck of the draw. But Chelsea certainly doing okay at the moment. Doesn't look like we are going to be playing the Palace game. Oh, and another draw! That's a real kick in the teeth. And we lose more ground now. I mean, we lose a lot of ground on Liverpool. Pull nine points ahead of us. Um, we're still well in the fight for a Champions League spot. And hopefully with Eggy back in the side, we can push on. We are still in January after all. Oh, it's such a shame for Eggy to be out. He's so key. He's an integral part of this team. We just cannot operate well without him. But a nice long break now for Eggy to recuperate. Did we make any signings in the transfer window? I would love it if we had... Oh, look, we've got two clubs waiting. I don't even remember getting a bid in, did we? Who's offered us? Oh, Spurs and Arsenal. Both want to prize Eggy away. Look at that. I mean, that is unlikely, isn't it? Look at Uno Emery there looking like, looking like Dracula. Terrifying. Pochettino, they want to offer us a little bit less. Um, but I think we stay with Chelsea. Um, we're happy here. No reason to move. Although I'd love to see Eggy in an Arsenal shirt. I think we, we want to see this one out. We've come this far. I mean, Arsenal and Spurs both competing for Champions League spots. We'd be happy at either side. But I like the role that Eggy's got here. He's operating well. So I think we're going to accept contract extension with Chelsea. 6.6 .6 million contract now. Best player in the league, almost certainly. Well ahead in the goal rankings. Assists for fun as well. We'll stick it out, at least till the end of the season. So let's move into the first game of the episode. Extend the contract. Yes, please. So contract extension done. They've shown faith. I mean, shown faith is a little bit much. We're the best player by a long shot. But we certainly will look to repay them by becoming, becoming a key player anyway. Look, ignore that. Starting lineup today. Eggy is back. Let's have a win as we take a trip down to the South Coast, to the Amex Arena, to take on Brighton. And let's take a look at the side for today. How's everyone looking? Eggy back in. Yellow Arrow. Jorginho, Kante, Van Ginkle, midfield. That's okay. Still no Loftus cheek. Bit upsetting, but Trent is in today, and I'm always pleased with that. We're going up against Diego Rico, 75 rated left back. Potentially some joy to be had there. And Anthony Knockart on the left hand side as well. Can't see him tracking back too much. So hopefully, Trent and Eggy can have a nice little jolly down that side. So, after a win streak of five with Eggy in the team, well, it was four with Eggy, one without. Gone on to have two draws in a row against opposition that we should be beating. Could those games be decisive come later in the season? Quite possibly, but we need to get back into winning ways. And with the young Indonesian back in the side, certainly the most exciting player in world football at the moment. Can Chelsea get another three points here and keep kicking on? Keep the pressure on. Let's go. Emerson, ball down the line to fight Eden Hazard. What a first touch. Eggy's there at the near post. <laughs> Digs out a shot. Not a bad effort. Racing in from that right-hand side. He makes that run so efficiently. Just checking backs. Found a bit of space there. Great touch by Hazard. Eggy unmarked. Oh, forced a good save. Difficult angle, though. Oh, Eggy nicks it back off Rico. Really well worked. Can he cut it back here for Eden Hazard to get us off? What happened there? Oh, my God. Eggy putting the pressure on Rico. Didn't spot him there lurking behind. Finds his way into the box. Unselfish stuff. The goal at his mercy. Eden Hazard, who's been in good goal scoring form recently, misses an absolutely incredible chance there. Come on, come on. Ball into the box. Oh, March has got away. Incredible save from Kepper there. Caught out by a cheeky free kick there from Brighton. Just neatly worked. March peels off the side. Oh, great save in the end, but we're almost caught out there. Ball watching. Great long throw into Weggy there, and a lovely first touch into Morata. Can he release Eggy down this right-hand side? We've got Bernardo with us. We know him well from Master League. Eggy with the lovely reverse ball into Alexander Arnold. Oh, just couldn't find Eggy again there. Would have been beautiful. Now N'Golo Kante into Eggy. He plays it back, sort of. And they'll header it away here. A little bit of pressure there from Chelsea, but ultimately half an hour in. We've been pretty poor. 
Eden Hazard slips it into N'Golo Kante. Eggy's got into a good position. Morata got in our way there. And that'll be cleared to touch by Duffy. And that will be half-time here. Disappointing half of football. Look at that. Struggling for possession. I mean, Brighton haven't really been able to create any good chances. And obviously Eden Hazard with the miss of the century. That might be going a bit far, but it was really, really poor. It does feel like the momentum that we had when Eggy was in such good form has, has gone. So, yeah. At that point, we were scoring for fun. It looked like we could not not score two or three goals in a game now. Well, we're feeding on scraps at the moment. We need to improve. Morata, lovely flick into Eggy. Oh, what a first touch away from Rico. Eggy into the box now. Turns. That's not on. That's not right. That had every single element that you'd expect from a Eggy Milana victory goal. Lovely change of pace here away from Rico. Into the box. Cut back inside. Should have been pop bang lovely. Curled deliciously. None of those things happen, though. Okay, well, positive start. Poor finishing. Alexander-Arnold. We need to uh, link up with him a little bit more. Eggy cuts inside here. Oh, lovely turn. Down the line into Alexander-Arnold. It's a good ball in. Morata's there. Duffy heads away. Good pressure here to start the half, but we need to turn it into a goal, and that's unlucky. Lucardia now into the box. Walker-Peters. Good ball in. Proper's there. We'll lay it back to the Frenchman. Knockout. Oh, <laughs> And I think that was an important block there from Trent Alexander-Arnold. We'll find out here. Was it a corner? It was a corner. Great block. That was a big, big chance there prevented. Oh, it's well worked here. Brighton with a chance here. Basuma cuts back. Oh, it's a cheeky ball into Walker. Peters Lacardia's shot is blocked. Well, we seem to actually... Well, the game does seem to be swinging in the uh, home team's favour at the moment, which is worrying here for Chelsea, who've... Started the half well, but really failed to create anything in the last 20 minutes or so. Lovely first time ball there, and Eggy flicks it round the corner into Semedo. Now Alvaro Morata into the box, is away from Duffy. Not a convincing effort, but it finds its way past the Brighton keeper, and the home side are shocked here. They've been in the ascendancy in the last few minutes, but it wasn't enough. And actually, Eggy's neat little flick into the path of Semedo. It was a perfect starting point to this attack. And Morata never looks comfortable in the one-on-one -on -one situation, but we've got a big slice of luck there off the bottom of the Brighton keeper. Let's take another look here. It is Semedo who puts it through. It's a decent ball. Morata takes a look up, sees where the keeper is. Takes one touch too many there, really, and that's really unfortunate for the keeper. But fortunately for us, we take the lead. Oh, Alexander-Arnold... That's an easy ball into Eggy. Options left and right here. It's going to scream away from Morata. Slips it into Hazard. Yes, easy, easy. And very, very smart play there from Eggy. I know it's always tempting for us to praise Eggy more than anyone else, but he was crucial to that one. Brighton with some poor play. Eggy through the centre. Could have hit it there. But just drew the defender in. Hazard into space all alone. He didn't miss this one. He missed a much easier chance in the first half. And that should be just about enough for us now. Oh, Morata into Eggy. Another great chance on the counter here. Eggy plays it in early 12 hour Morata. He's got Hazard to his left-hand side. Just square the ball, you fucking imbecile. Right, fine. We'll play it back. Should have been a tap in there for Hazard. And Van Ginkle puts it wide. Alvar Morata. Once again showing incredibly low football IQ. <laughs> don't, don't know if they really talk about football IQ very much. It's more of a basketball term. But, yeah, pretty low down the list of intelligent football players is Alvaro Morata there. All he needed to do was glance up, spot Eden Hazard in acres of space, and it would have been three. Why do we even pass to him? Hazard, good ball into Eggy. Around the corner into Alvaro Morata. He's away from Duffy. Eggy the only option in the box. It's back to Eden Hazard. Eggy wants it. Little chest. Oh, away from Bernardo. On the right. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, not only did we think he wasn't going to score today, but we certainly didn't expect him to pull off a moment of absolute brilliance. And it is Master League Story Mode favourite, Bernardo, who is the latest in a long line of defenders to be absolutely mugged off by the mercurial skills of Eggy Milana Vicri. Let's take another look at that. Ball sort of looped in from Hazard. Eggy one touch on the chest, off the knee, and then a touch away and a great finish on his weaker foot as well. Just juggling the ball in the box for fun. Hashtag Eggy things. Look at this. It'll be a great view of it from here. Hazard just chips it in. Eggy facing away from goal. Little flick off the knee. Lovely touch there. Bernardo couldn't get close. The Brazilian can only watch it be fired past his keeper into the net. 
There's number three. There's the sex eyes. That's just a very, very good day's work for Chelsea. And there we have it. Lovely, lovely stuff. As I said, it just feels like we're solid enough at the back and we've got enough goals in us to just win games like that. And it's not felt like that before in this series of Become a Legend. So very pleasing. And again, Eggy with a fantastic goal. The goal montage for Eggy this season, if I ever, ever had the time to make it, would be something quite special. If anyone wants to go and find the goals in the episodes and mark them, timestamp them for me, I will be eternally grateful and then I can put a compilation together. I just don't have time to go and watch all the episodes and find the goals. So if you're at a loose end and you want to really help this channel, then that would be a good one because I think a best of eggy goals for Chelsea this season would be something quite special. He's put so many away. Today's one of my favourite. Juggling it in the box. Ronaldinho-esque. And yeah, we weren't. it wasn't a comprehensive win. We didn't have much possession. We didn't need it. And another 7.5. Another man of the match for Eggy. And Murata, despite at times just having no common sense at all, comes away with a 7 and a goal. So he can't really, can't really laugh at him too much. He gets the job done. It's just not very pretty. So we kick on. And we're up into third again. Lovely stuff. And only six points away from Liverpool, who dropped points. Why do I never look at the, the scores? quite clear what we want to happen now scores wise so we've still got the most losses of any side battling for that top spot or battling for Europe but uh, yeah we're, we're starting to score quite a few goals as well we've scored the most goals we've conceded the most goals our goal difference is the highest though so that could be the important extra point come the end of the season and there we are 7.1 average rating remains 34 in 29 so I don't know how I missed those transfer approaches but one of them was Spurs in the transfer window they tried to unsettle eggy they are actually quite far below us now in the league so we wouldn't have ever gone there anyway although we did consider spurs actually when we were looking for a new club oh look we play spurs and then arsenal the other side that looked to sign us so we've got two london derbies to finish this episode this one is certainly a rivalry now there are some london derbies that you know chelsea is supposedly part of but this one has a lot of needle to it these two sets of fans really do dislike each other. Let's take a look and see how we're going to line up today against them. Martinez in today. That's interesting. We've not seen much from him this season. He is not featured. Um, we quite like him. He's a powerful runner, decent finisher. Uh, Barkley in today. That's interesting. Jorginho had a good game. Kante has been excellent in this latter part of the season. Trent's still in there. That's good. Arbor leader. That's a worry. Willy Caballero at the back. That is a major, major worry. Um, and Hazard, well, missed the sitter, scored a good one. Spurs, well, they've got Batch Y up top. Onoma in attacking midfield. It is a good side. They've not lost too many players, and they've signed Soyuncu, who is excellent. And they've signed Kovacic from Chelsea. Another good midfielder there. Kane on the bench. Xhaka on the bench, of course. Son on the bench. Interesting. I mean, they've got a very, very strong side. Without Kep today, I think we could struggle. So although this one is at Wembley or Spurs Stadium or wherever it's meant to be, I'm sure you all remember the Battle of the Bridge, the most one of the best games in the Premier League I've ever seen. Not just because it was Spurs, um, yeah, having a bit of a tough time. 2016 Spurs were well, they were had hopes and dreams of winning the league, whereas Chelsea had, had an awful season, especially that man Eden Hazard, who yeah, he'd been disappointing, but then suddenly he came out of nowhere with an incredible performance, an incredible goal as Spurs lost their heads, lost players. It was yeah, something quite special, and I think that is just gone on to develop this rivalry, which is as fierce now as I would say it's ever been. So Spurs, in this reality, fighting for the top spot. Chelsea doing really, really well, especially with that man at the wheel. What will happen today? This should be a good one. This should be a really good one. Let's get into it. Jorginho now plays it back. Chelsea just need to build up a bit of possession here. Spurs have been in charge so far today. Let's keep the ball. Let's be smart. This is better. He wants it. Not like that. But it's a lovely turn away from Vertonghen. Oh, looks to step away from the Belgian. Oof. A strong challenge there. Wasn't meant to be. No. It was a cross. I was trying to cross it. Eggy gave Vertonghen an awful time there, but he gets it back. I mean, I don't actually think there was anything wrong with that. It was a mistake, but we go into the book. 20 minutes in. That's unfortunate. Eggy's not that sort of player. You know he was going for the ball. Oh, Kante, so strong, wins that back. And now Eggy plays it into N'Golo Kante. Eggy in space now, down this right-hand side. It's a step away from Vertonghen. 
It's got Alexander Arnold in loads of space. It's got time now to put a ball into the box. Kante on the turn. Could fall to Hazard here. Oh, and he swivels and puts it wide. First chance of what has been a very, very tight derby. Falls to Chelsea. He just couldn't quite just manoeuvre his body into a position to get that goal bound. Unlucky. Oh, Barkley, how did you miss that? Now Deli Alley into the box. Willy Caballero didn't look comfortable with that one. Sort of half palm, half punch over the bar. Eriksen now to whip it in. Alley at the near post. That's well worked. Back out to Christian Eriksen. Low ball into Bash White. Ooh, Willy. Another corner here from Spurs. Again, it's a short one into Deli Alley. That's not going anywhere. He's not going to get to it. Oh, puts a foot in. Risky. He's on a yellow card. Thankfully, I think we got away with that. But Eli Ali now will put a ball into the box. Oh, it could fall to Batch Y here. Wow. Again, Caballero doesn't look comfortable. And thankfully, it wasn't a yellow card tackle from Eggy. And that is half time here. Very, very tight. Very cagey affair. Willie Caballero there. Called into action a couple of times. Don't want that to happen too often. Chelsea, yeah, poor on the evidence of that. No real efforts on Spurs' goal. We need to change that in this second half. This is an absolutely key game in the complexion of the Premier League. And it's one that we need to be winning. Kovacic, the ex-Chelsea man. That's a lovely raking ball out to Eriksen. Eggy out of position. The Dane can bring it forward. Ali into Dembele. Good challenge. Edge of the box. Really needed that there. We don't really have many men forward here. But Morata and Hazard will look to combine. Oh, lovely footwork there for Morata. And he is fouled. Unlucky. This is a lovely little move here. Away from... Sanchez just gives away a foul in the process. I think he wants it short here. Probably not in the air would have been ideal. Ball into Trent. Now Morata. Oh, Hazard can square it here into Eggy. Surely, yes, get in. Really nicely worked there from Chelsea. We've been the underdog in this game so far. We've been behind for every single metric imaginable. But now we're ahead in the only one that really counts. 1-0 to the Chelsea. And it is that man, Eggy Milana Vickery, again in the goals. It was a uh, short free kick into Eggy. And that was a lovely bit of vision there from Alvaro Morata. Everything we said about him, I take it back. Needing Hazard's simple square ball into Eggy. And Spurs just weren't expecting it. They weren't expecting the short free kick. They had everyone lined up for a ball floated into the box. But it was smart play from Chelsea. Smart play from Sarri as well. That was clearly one off the training ground. Can we hold on to this now? Well, Spurs have been the better side for this first 54 minutes. Surely they'll have a couple of chances before the end of this game. Oh, Eggy tracking Ericsson. It's good defensive work. Hard work as well. Late in the game. That's a dangerous ball in. Lamella will take it down in the box. Jorginho can't get it back. Lamella steps back onto his left. Batch wide with the overhead kick and he's put it wide. Massive chance there for Spurs. They've not had many in this second half. Again to take on Soy and Shu. Oh, what footwork. Eggy's made a good run here. The back heel looking for Morata. Can finish it here. No, great defending from Vertonghen. Three minutes left and Spurs could break here. It's Harry Kane though, all on his own. The substitute with no one with him. Eriksen making a good run. To the left-hand side. Kane will find him. The 1-2 is inevitable. Kane into the box. Turns away from goal. Eggy's the back there helping out, but he can't get close to Kane. Kane lays it back. Oh, and Zaka can't decide who to get to that. And neither of them do. And we don't clear it. Kovacic into Kane on the turn. Dave, big challenge. Now only two minutes left in this one. Can Morata win the ball here? And can Eggy keep hold of it? For these final seconds here. No, Xhaka wins it back. Oh, no, let's not do this. Long ball looking for Eriksen. Keeps it in. Incredible work. Xhaka on the turn. Mora. The Brazilian will turn here. Cannot beat Caballero. A thrilling end to the game. And it's Eggy's goal in the 56th minute. That sees them win this very hard fought rival matchup. And look at that Sanku. Not happy with that. Well, I think Spurs were the better side. But where it counts, we came out on top. Which is goal scoring. Yeah, I mean, it was very close. Only one shot on target from either side. Um, maybe Spurs weren't quite as dominant as it felt. But look at that, Martinez with a 4.5. He was shocking. I expect that's the last we'll see of him. Eggy again, the difference. Eggy again, the man of the match. Is there anything he can't do? So lovely stuff. And Spurs now will drop even further. Now nine points behind us. And we're only three points behind Liverpool now, still with plenty to play for this year. Manchester City level. We 
They go up against Arsenal today, only a point behind us. We need a win today. Keep this run alive. So we start again, massive game to finish the episode. We're back at the bridge after a smash and grab against Tottenham. And well, it's a, so we're getting the derby for this. It's not as much of a derby as Spurs. It's not a derby at all, in fact. Chelsea, Arsenal, there's, there's pretty much nothing there, speaking as an Arsenal fan. But that will make things difficult today against an Arsenal side with very few players that any Arsenal fans will recognise. Uh, Dante in there, Komar 83 rated, they've signed Adrian, they've got a ferret in midfield, Hesse, Hector Bellerin playing as a right mid. On paper, we should be winning this. Uh, Bamiyang and Lacazette on the bench, Mila Jednak, God, this is a horrible vision of the future. Um, well, we're playing with Morata and Hazard again, obviously no plays for Martinez. Loftus cheek in today, that's good to see. Semedo at right back, Tony Lato in, and it's Bolker. Oh my God, Kepper, we need you back. Bolker on a blue gets the start. Miranda captains the side. Ramsey captains the Arsenal side. Right, come on, let's make it three out of three. So back at the bridge and optimism levels must be high amongst the Chelsea fans. Early in the season, I'm not sure if they really believed that we'd have any chance of mounting any sort of title run. But it's all possible now, especially with Eggy massively in the goals. Let's dispatch Arsenal and this will be a very successful episode. Oh, early mistake there, though. What the hell are you doing? Ferret. Guedes. Oh, fuck off. Well, we've got the worst keeper in our side in today. Oh, big challenge there for Miranda. Out of nowhere. Still not cleared, though. Blin into Hesse. Loftus Cheek can't win it back. We do clear. Shaky start. I think that would be safe to say. Bellerin. Lovely ball over the top to Dallow. Oh, great first touch. And there it is. Well, Arsenal have been all over us in the opening for a few minutes. And the. Reserve, reserve keeper there. Barely even flapping at that one. Bellerin, lovely ball over the top to Dallo. Tony Lato powered off it. Poor goalkeeping, poor defending, poor start. Oh, lovely ball over the top into Morata. He's away from Dante. One on one here and he finishes sweetly. Bert Lena, no chance with that one. And Morata, well, let's, let's just stop making fun of him now because he's, he's done really well. Bless him. Never really looks that confident. Always looks a little bit shy, but there's nothing shy about that finish. Right, let's start again. It's nil-nil, lads. Let's go. Oh, Morata does really well there. And Hazard with the right ball could find Eggy. What the fuck was that? Must have been some sort of deflection there, but Kante's won it back. Morata surely offside. He was offside. No, he wasn't offside. And this is Eggy territory. Morata scythed down. Eggy has got this all to himself. Trying to get the fuck out of the way. Thank you. Right. To take the lead here. Eggy Milan a victory. It's just about right. Yes. Yes. Set piece specialist. Boom shakalaka. And there we go. Oh. Yep. Ladies, watch yourselves. Yep. He spotted you. And that was accurate. It was actually quite close to the keeper. I'd say Leno could have done better. Is it Leno in the net? I don't think it is actually. I think it's said that but couldn't get a finger to it no it's adrian in the net of course it is yeah okay well i got that wrong in the beginning Oof. well he dived very late for that it's poor goalkeeping but eggy profits and we're suddenly ahead oh eggy lovely footwork finds loftus cheek now Morata. oh he's turned away from dante finish it yes <laughs> and it's three here what a turnaround we went behind to a very poor goal. And now Morata with two. And him and Ruby there. It's the awkwardest celebration ever, maybe. Eggy composed in the midfield, just dancing away from his man. Dante, wow. Wow. That, I mean, he is in decline, but that was Mustafi. I mean, this is more like the Arsenal I know and love. Defensive errors such as this. I mean, yeah, that was Mustafi-esque. And then Morata here, well... No problem with that finish either. Adrian beaten for the third time in quick succession. We've got a two-goal advantage. And we're only 27 minutes in. Eggy now. Options as Semedo's made a good run and we will use him. He's into a bit of space. He's got a couple to aim for here. And it will be Jorginho into the box. Slams it into the crossbar. Dallow with a good challenge there to break down the move. That's unlucky. Really good play again from Chelsea. Oh, it's nicked back from Ramsey there. Oh, Eggy just 
Drifts inside. Oh, he's hit the post. He's hit that very well. Drifted away from the Arsenal defender as if he wasn't even there. And there we are, half-time here at the bridge. And, uh, well, we went down in the sixth minute, but we responded in very impressive fashion. Two from Morata, one from Eggy. Eggy's been excellent again. Hopefully we can go on and finish this one off early on in the second half. Grab a fourth and then just see it out. And, uh, yeah, another massive win against a top-four side would be very welcome. Nice work here. Hesse in a good position. Ball into Ferret. Dallow will get to it. Got to get that away, Jorginho. Good defending. Oh, Bellerin does really well there. And again, Arsenal miss. So many chances for the away team in the second half. But with only 10 minutes left, if they'd taken maybe one of them, I think maybe they'd have a way back into this one. But two goals in the last 10 minutes. Maybe just a little bit too much for them. Off to cheat. That's neat. Oh, and Eggy evades. It would have been a horror sliding challenge there. Martinez puts it back into Eggy. Low ball in, looking for Morata. Finish it off. There we are. Well, Arsenal were handed many, many opportunities to play their way back into this. And Eggy, tidy in possession there. This is a nice ball from Martinez. Eggy keeps it in. Low ball in for Alvaro Morata. He gets his hat-trick today. And, yeah, well, he's, he's a great player. Clinical, clever. We love him. Oh, and Arsenal now. Full-on capitulation here. Eggy wants a goal, so he's going to step back in. Looks to curl it. Adrian, that's too easy. We don't want to give Morata a fourth. Come on. And there we have it. Well, 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 well. Alvaro Morata hat-trick. Coming from a goal behind. Eggy playing well again. And we've beaten two top six teams in a row in this episode. Chelsea are absolutely flying at the moment. There's no doubt about it. And again, it just comes down to being clinical. We're in a game, again, which is very closely matched. Stats very similar. But it's Eggy and Morata today, the difference. We don't get man of the match, which is rare. But we'll let Alvaro have one. We're a big Alvaro Morata fan now. Let's see, how did Liverpool do? Oh, they beat United 2-0. Big result for them. Spurs lost 4-0 to Huddersfield. They're out of it now. Really interesting day in the Premier League. Three points now. The difference between us has managed to City drop off as well. And we've gone now from scraping around looking for a Champions League spot to real genuine contenders. And if we can keep this form going, Eggy can continue scoring at the rate he is. And I think we can do it. 100% manager trust now from Sarri. 36 goals in 31 appearances. 22 assists as well. Really special. Special talent. And there we go. And next episode, well, it's an absolutely massive FA Cup quarter final against Manchester City. We're poised now across all the competitions. We're in it and we're looking good. So what an episode it's going to be in the next one. Be sure to join me for an FA Cup quarter final. First leg of our round of 32 game against Levante. And then big game in the Premier League. Manchester United at Old Trafford. It's going to be exciting. It's going to be nerve wracking. See you in a bit.